Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm here today to make Jenny Richardson's uh, meatball sub casserole. Now how can a, a meatball sub also be a casserole? Well, I'm going to show you in this dish. And it was inspired to me by my friend on Facebook, Jenny Richardson, who's really awesome and cool. And she's a metal chick, and she likes like the really heavy stuff like I do, like King Diamond and Cannibal Corpse, so that's pretty awesome. And uh, what you need is meatballs, of course. I got these uh, this giant thing of 80 meatballs from Sam's Club, and this was uh, a little less than 13 bucks. Uh, some biscuits. I got these jumbo biscuits, butter biscuits from uh, Great Value. This thing was a dollar 88. Ooh, you can see myself. Cool. Uh, spaghetti sauce. I got two of these. These are grasso. I don't know how much I'm going to use. But I mean they're both a dollar a piece so that's good. And if you're going to use this, maybe use like a more affordable spaghetti sauce instead of a real expensive one. You know, in case you, you, know, you need a lot. And my sister uh, gave me some shredded cheese. She gave me this mozzarella cheese. What she has left. And then I bought some pepper jack in case I need some more. Because I'm going to be making this casserole and a different casserole. And I need the cheese so. Hopefully that will probably be enough. Now I got some spices. Uh, I'm going to add like garlic powder, habanero hot sauce, a little paprika, ground black pepper, crushed red pepper, and I got some other stuff I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to put it all in this. I was going to get a casserole dish because I just had a traditional baking dishes. Um, well, my sister gave me a couple of these dishes, so I just used these. I'm just going to use these instead. And a couple other things I forgot to bring out. Yeah, and I'm also going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to use some of these yellow onions. I got this two pound bag of sure fine for 88 cents. And I used it in my uh, cabbage roll mi uh, dish. And I'm also going to put some uh, of my jalapenos in there too. So, I'll show you the first step. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, first step is making the biscuits. And I'm going to put them on this cutting board. And this cutting board, I made this when I was back in 7th grade, back in the 80's. I still have it. I know my dad loved it. Okay. I'm back to show you what to do with the biscuits. Okay, you separate these. I don't know if I'm going to use all these biscuits, but I'm going to use some. And you cut them up in the strips. You put them in the pan like this. It said to make these an ungreased pan, so that's what I'm doing. You know. Just place them throughout the pan. Oops. I'll just have to probably package these up and keep the rest in the fridge for when I use them next time. Okay, just keep doing that. And then you'll be ready for the meatballs. Yeah, I end up I end up spraying the bottom of this anyway, just to make sure I don't want them to stick. And I end up using three of the biscuits. I put the other three biscuits in a storage bag and put it back in the refrigerator. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the meatballs in now. But I'm going to heat them up. They're frozen. I'm going to heat them up some so they're not completely frozen. So it'll cook quicker. Well, it won't. Uh, so when everything cooks, they won't still be frozen. You know what I mean? I'm going to heat them up some. All right. I'll be back and I'll show you how I place them in uh, this casserole. Okay. And here are the onions. I mean, uh, God damn it. The meatballs placed in here. I got some chopped onions. I'm going to put these on top. I'm going to start rearranging them a little bit so a little bit neater than that. Okay. I'll be back to... Oh, then I can put the tomato sauce on here. Hold on. Open this up. I don't know if I need one or two, so I'm just going to put one on for now. Okay. There's some more in there. I might. I don't know if I need. I just might just need one. I'll just smooth it out over there. It'll probably even out. Or why not? I just put some more on there. Yeah, all right. Okay. Cover it all up. Okay. Yeah, it's better, and I'm going to top it, put some uh, jalapenos on it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. 
I'm going to put some uh, shredded cheese, I'm going to put the seasoning on and I'll put it in the oven at 375 degrees. Okay, now I put the cheese on top, I put the seasonings on top, I still have cheese left over. Now I'm going to put the, I almost forgot to put the, uh, almost said pineapple, the pepperoni on top. And I'll stick it in the oven after that. Okay, I just did this. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, and here's the finished product. And I forgot to say, uh, put it in the oven at 375 degrees for anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how you like it done. Alright, and I'm going to let it stand for about 5 minutes or so, and I'm going to review it and, and give it, tell you what I think. Alright, bye. Okay, here's the finished product. I did exactly as it was shown in the video I saw on Jenny's channel. Try the meat, meat, meatballs. Well, I mean, I added a couple things. Onion stuff are really good. My thing is, I don't think the biscuits did too well. Very doughy. I've seen some other recipes call for like um, bread is already done. Yeah, that's why I should have done. So you might want to cook the the biscuits or what ahead of time, or at least somewhat, and then add it because it's kind of doughy. But it's still really good. So I give Jenny, Retri Jenny uh, Richardson's uh, meatball casserole an 8 out of 10. Just the uh, thing with uh, biscuits. I mean, they're still good, but... Mm. Could have been a little bit better, but that's how it was like in the video too, so. Alright. Take care everyone. And it's always. Take care of my legion. Let's try with the uh, jalapeno. Mm. Really good. Alright, take care everyone. Yeah, I went ahead and put it in the oven and let it cook longer, so hopefully it'll be better. I mean, it's very filling. Uh, I'm going to let it cook for another half hour see what happens. All right. I mean, I, in a way, that's kind of my fault because I like things well done, so Man, it wasn't well done enough for me. Right, Maggie? Maggie won't eat that. She only eats, drinks her water and eats her cat food, huh, honey? All right. Hopefully that'll help cook it longer. Yeah, it is, uh, it is better if you cook it longer, but I mean, I did exactly as the instructions said, but um, with me, I like things more well done, so that's on, my, on me, but it's really good, but it's so filling. I mean, I had a little bit, I'm ready to go lay down and take a nap. I have lots of leftovers from this, and here's a photo, uh, my niece, Taylor, and my nephew, AJ, on there, real little, with a little Christmas background of Rudolph right there, isn't that nice? Alright, hope you liked this cooking video, and until next time, like I said, uh, take care of my legion. I am stuffed. I really am. Bye, everybody. From my dad's room.